Sweet. What's up? Welcome back to another workout uh, of the week for Wednesday. Um, what do we got today? Some strength focused and some supersets. We're going to have some fun and get things strong. So let's get warmed up. We'll get things started and we'll get you going. So uh, let's start. As always, I like to roll these shoulders out, get them flowing, get them sliding, get them moving, get them nice and warm. Hope you're having a good week. It's Wednesday, getting over this hump into the weekend. It's fall, things are cooling down. We got some rain last night, feels good. So now rolling back, small circles, gradually getting bigger as you go backwards. Um, supersets, we're gonna be doing supersets today. There's two exercises, non-competing, back to back with next to no rest. And then uh, we'll have a little break in between when we go before we go back to the top. So we'll have uh, two exercises back to back. We're gonna go through that four times each of them and then we'll be done with that. Then we'll move on to the next superset. So that's a general breakdown of a superset. Um, and let's go arm swing, swing arms up. Run in, swing arms. So, and then, uh, so we'll do a lower body superset, and then a push and a pull, and then a core, two different parts of your core. So, good, good. let's go torso twist, pivot the toe, turn the hips, arms flow and swing around. So let that upper body relax, a little twist, a little momentum to pull you into that turn. Good. Let's turn that into okay, bent over T. Hinge at the hips, dropping down, arms hanging. Pull the shoulders back behind you. Open the arms up. Drop the arms. Drop the shoulders. Shoulders back. Open. Arms down. Drop down from the top. Shoulders drop back. Arms open up. Drop them down. Reach them out. Let's get one more. Okay, uh, let's go cherry pickers, feet about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider, toes can be open, and reach a tall, hinge down, tap, 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 stand, flowing through the hamstrings, hinge down, tap in front, middle, and back. Front, middle, back. Good, good, good. All right, let's get some more of this lower body knees. Grab a knee, hug it tight, pull that knee in. Stretching the hip and the glute. Your base leg is solid and strong. And alternate them. Uh, let's go leg cradle, same thing, pick a leg balance stable, grab just above the ankle, grab the knee, block with this arm, and balance, pull in. Good. Feel good, rotation, good stretch out of the hip. Walking the knee from coming up and pushing it down. You're pulling that ankle up. You're rotating through that femur. Good. Let's go quads. Grab, if you can, the opposite foot. Pull into a stretch. Reach up overhead. Step down and alternate. Oh, uh, good, good, good. So um, let's go down, 
scapular push up. We'll get a little more out of these shoulders. Slide the shoulder blades down together. Let's show you from the top view. You can check on my ball spots. Um, slide down, pushing apart. So you see these shoulders slide and slide, nice and smooth. Okay, with that, I'm not letting those shoulders slide to my towards my ears. I shrug, shrug towards my ears. I want those shoulders sliding back, pushing apart. And shift the hips back towards the heels. Rotate down and towards the opposite knee. Reach, reach. Open, open. Kind of pull into each end of range of motion there. Get that good stretch out of it. Good. Let's switch sides. Rotate in, reach, reach. Open, open, open. Down, reach in. One more. Okay, let's switch. Um, step and hide wide, let the hip and the groins drop and sink into this stretch. Get Flossie's hips out. And we'll rotate. Open up. Reach down and through. Open on up. And down and through. Good, let's switch them. Step out, step through, they're outside. Good, good, good. All right, uh, let's see. Let's break things down. So, as I mentioned, we've got two supersets. Uh, three supersets, we're going. Um, it'll be a 60 seconds of work, five second transition, 60 seconds of work, then we'll have 20 seconds to get back to the top. Okay, 65, 60, 20 back to the top. Okay, we'll do that for four, and then move on to the next pair, and then the next pair. So that will be the scoop today. So with that, step up to a reverse lunge. Okay, so if you have a box, bench, chair, couch, something that's relatively stable to step up onto, you will need that. Now we can just skip the step up and go into just more specific, just regular lunges. So, uh, but, uh, so your step up, your one foot's on the box or bench or whatever you have, your whole foot is on the bench, the box, your step up. You're not hanging the heel off the edge of the bench. Put the whole thing on there and step up. I'm kind of close here, okay? Um, and then, you're stepping down, okay? This box foot is now your back foot, okay? So that box foot, we go here to here, always, okay? We don't step here, switch feet, and then forget which one we're going back with. So step back, drop the back knee into a lunge, stand, stand, okay? If you have weights, you can load those weights up by your side uh, or somewhere if you wanna add some weight to that and challenge it. So we got a left there, we got a right there. That's one superset. Uh, the next one is going to be a play. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to break down the next one when we get to it. So we're just going to do that one, and then um, so we don't have to remember or forget what we're doing next. So I'll just break these down as we go. So that's going to be that for now. So um, to finish the warm up, get a little more warm up in. Let's go uh, just reverse lunges. Step back, ten on each leg. Um, on that step up, if you don't have something to step up onto, you can step back and just step up into a knee drive, okay, and then back down into it. So warm up though, 10, 10 on each leg. This is for later. 10 on each leg to warm those legs up. Shake them out, get them going. The better the warm up, the better the workout. We're doing this for four rounds. So if you're not fully warmed up, ready to rock, then your first round is essentially your warm up, and you're not going to get as much out of it. So um, I'll give you another quick minute, and then we'll go from there. Good. 
כן, 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 כן. All right, how are we doing? Legs warm? Legs toasty? Ready to go? I'll take that as a yes. So I don't see any thumbs up. We'll go with it. Here we go. Um, step up to reverse lunge. Warm up. Ready, ready. Here we go. Three, Time is on. Two, two. Three, two, one. one. Step up. The knee drive. Step down. Reverse lunge. Keep these feet flat on the ground when we're moving through this. We shouldn't be pressing into our toes. We shouldn't be hanging the heel off the bench. Okay, feet flat. The more we keep those feet flat, the more we load that heel up a little better, the more that glute's gonna work and help out the quads to do their job better. So keep going, keep flowing. 60 That's seconds. Good, keep it continuous. Try not to pause and break at the top or in between. Good, good, good. We're over that. We've got about 10 seconds left on this side. And it's going to be a five second, quick five second transition moving on to the next slide. Three, two, one. Good. Relax. Shake them out. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. We're back on. Good, 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 good. Whoa. Anytime you need to check your balance, tap a toe, check that balance. Keep going. You got this. Steady and strong, all the way through. Good, good, good. Heart rate should be rising. Good, nicely done. Any free range of motion, but you still want to challenge that range of motion. As long as it's pain free. No sense in aggravating those joints if there's any pain there. Take it down a notch. If that means shortening the box, Three, two, then that means shortening one. the box. Shake it out. Rest. One down. Three to go. Good job. Good job. Where's my water? Like 20 seconds, how about it? Ready? Two. And we're back on. Exercise one. Step up, step down, step back, lunge, step up, step down, back, lunge. Good, good, good. Nice and down. That's halfway. Good, we're over the half. Just keep cruising forward. Yep, 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 yep. Almost there. Get another rep in. And. Nice and done, nice and done. Three. Switching legs, quick five seconds, ready, ready? We're back on? Exercise one. Good. Whoa, balance. That's halfway. Good job. Over that helm. Over that half. Keep this place going. Good and strong. Three. 
Three. Uh huh. Two. Finish it up. One. You go. Nice work. Two down. Two to go. Halfway through this one. Legs, quads, things are burning, things are pumping, things are moving. Good. All good stuff. Whoa. We're back on. Ready, ready. How about it? There we go. Good. Quads are working. Glutes are working. Core is strong. When you step up onto this box, a sign of that core and glute strength is how tall you can keep your torso. So if you're stepping up onto the box, you have to fall forward. You load up that front leg all the way and use your hands to kind of push up off it. Change that leverage a little bit and core strength That's needs halfway. some work. That includes the glutes. Glutes are a big part of your core. Yes, 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 yes. Two, one. Good. Yep. Shake that leg out. Three. And don't go too far. Exercise. Start back on. Back on. Just find that balance. There we go. Good, good. Getting this lower body out of the way first. Nice and strong. Stepping, lunging. Nice job, nice job. That's halfway. Nice work, 15 seconds. And then we get that extra break. Yeah, almost there. Three, Come on. two. Good, time. Rest. One more, one more set on these legs. Shake those legs out. 10 seconds. Three. All right, let's finish this leg up. One. Exercise. Here we go. One. All right. Just know we're not coming back to these legs, stepping and lunging today. Maybe a touch of something later on, but lunging, stepping, stepping, lunging will be it to keep this pace up. Push through that muscle pump, fight that little muscle burn. Keep it strong, keep it focused. You're almost there. Nice, nice. 10 seconds, come on. You got it. You got it, you got it. Three, two. Yeah, there we go. Rest. Shake it, shake it, switch it, switch it. Three. Here we go. One. We're back Exercise at it. One. Back at it. Put your nose legs, step in. Knee drive, step down, step back. Step it, knee, down, and back. Nicely done, nicely done. Come on, fight through these legs. Fight through these legs, you're almost there. That's halfway. Yes. Good, quads and glutes. We got them going. Come up, make them strong. Yes, yes, yes. Less than 10. Come on now. One more rep. Two. And time. Good, good. We got done. Done with the box.
Let's do this. Take a breath, grab a drink. Um, go ahead and get us ready and break down this next piece. Three, two, one. Exercise one. And Press. for this one, a towel, a dowel, a uh, broomstick, PVC, something like that will be helpful. Um, here's what we're doing. So it's going to be a plank push up to start. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, hips straight. So the hips should not be left behind. Don't leave them at home. Bring those butt, the, the butt, the glutes, the hips with you. Okay, but don't bring them into a sag. Okay, so keep everything straight. Head, shoulders, hips, knees, toes. If you're on your toes, straight line. You can do this knees or toes. Plank push up, hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Maybe a hair wide, but we're going to go from this high plank position, control ourselves down to a low plank position, elbows under our shoulders. I lay with my left arm, and I'll switch that, so I'll keep that. So I'm going to push up with my left, down with my left. My left arm is leading. We can switch that at halfway. Um, and next, um, so we'll switch that at halfway. Core strength, we want to try and keep these core intact. So minimizing big swinging and pushing out of the hips. Okay, if you're swinging all the way place, you're on your toes, try dropping to the knees, locking down this core, and not letting these hips swing around as much. Okay, from there, um, that'll be the plank push-up, 60 seconds, then we're gonna go down to your belly, and we're gonna go with this PVC, chrome PVC press. So, grabbing your stick, your towel, if you're using a towel, you wanna pull it apart, keep it tight, um, some kind of dowel, PVC, some kind of rod, and arms overhead, you're lifting it up, dropping it back down behind you, so your shoulders and shoulder blades have opened up, and you're going to press it back up over your head, and drop it, lift it, come down a little behind your head, you're looking straight down at the ground all the time, you're not lifting your chest and your torso, you're keeping that relatively down, and you're just sliding through that press overhead. Upper back will start to get lit up. All will be good. So those are the two. That's it. Let's do this. Okay. Timer. We got ten seconds to go. Time. Ten seconds. Plank push up first. Three. Solid core, solid plank. Hands on the shoulders and one. drop down. Elbow, elbow. Push up. Hand, hand. Elbow, elbow. Push up, hand, hand. Control down, down. Push up, push up. Core strong. Minimize that rocking and rolling out of the hips. Nice, nice, nice. You got this. You should be leading with one arm. You're, my left arm is dropping down to the elbow. My left arm is pushing up. Now I'm going to switch it. Switch that lead arm. My right arm is going to lead now. Whichever one you're on. Keep it steady, keep that core strong. Good, toes are good, knees are good, as long as those hips and that core stays neutral. Nice work, good endurance, good strength on these arms. Dynamic, functional, pushing up, controlling, almost there. Woo. Yeah, time. Quick five seconds, down to your belly. And looking straight down, lift the arms up, pull them back down behind your head, press them up over, lift, draw those shoulder blades back. Good, 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 good. 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 With little to no extra weight to work out with, this is a good one to target your back. It's hard to get your back exercises with body weight, or your back worked out with body weight exercises, because you need to hang under something and hold on to something. So that would require a pull-up bar or having extra weight. If you don't have dumbbells, kettlebells is nothing you can pull. So this one is kind of a sleeper exercise. It seems simple, but it usually sneaks up on people. And with a little soreness. Good, relax. 
Nice, nice. How are we doing? You can get just a chill out right there. Don't move. Just breathe. And for five more seconds, we'll go again. Three. Plank push up. Core strong. One. Take that lead arm. Push, push. Control, control. Push, push. Control, control. Good. Remember those hips. We want to keep them locked down. Total body control, whether you're stable and pushing or pull, controlling out of your shoulders and chest, or keeping this core strong so our hips don't rock around. That's halfway. Good, good, good. Nicely done, nicely done. Three, two, one, rest. Good, yep. I'm sorry, I didn't give you halfway. We'll one, switch that lead arm next time. Two, Good, back to that PVC press behind you. Up and over, lift. Back behind, back up, lift. Back behind, back up. Lift, good, good, good. Keep that flow going, slow and controlled. You can adjust the width of your hands to find what feels most comfortable and in the movement of your shoulders. That's halfway. Good, good, good. Nicely done. Keep this up. We're almost there. Yep, less than 10. Almost there. Three, two, one. Good. Rest. Nice, nice. Okay, I missed that halfway mark, so if you want to switch your lead arm now, now's your chance to even things out. Three. Ready, ready, ready. One. And go, we're on. Four strong. Shoulders stable. Excellent work. You got this. That's halfway. Good, good. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Yep. Three. Right. Two. For old PVC press. Six, five, one. All right. Sorry about that. Here we go. Let's bonus. Exercise one. Behind, up and over, lift. Good, good. And shoulders sliding, shoulders retracted, shoulders sliding this, moving this P this bar around. Good work, keep it up. That's halfway.
Good, good, good. Almost there. Three, two, one. Nice, nice. Back. There you go. 20 seconds off. That's two down. Two more to go. Let's get you. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Back at it. Plank push up. Exercise one. Back on. Push it, push it up. Control down. Push it up. Up. Control down. Control down. Hips under control. Hips are not swaying, swinging, slopping all over the place. Use that core to keep that in place. That includes everything. Everything's working together. Your body's one piece. Not bits and pieces that do their own thing. That's halfway. One stabilizes, one moves, supports. They all work together. That's halfway. Switch those lead arms if you want. Good, good. Nice work. Three, two, one. Good. Yep. Press. Down, back to the PVC. Three, two, Press. One. Exercise up one. And over. Lift it. Go back behind. Up, up, up. Lift. Down, behind. Good work, good work. It's not a race here, just slow and controlled. Halfway. Nicely done. You're over the half. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Good time. We got one more of that superset. One more. You got this. The push and the pull will be done after this. We'll go a little bit of plank and some glute work. Exercise How about one. it? Three, two, one. We're back on plank push up. One. Finish this plank push up strong. Core, stable shoulders, chest and shoulders pushing. Control them back down. Good, 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 good. That's halfway. Um, keep going, keep going. Good, good, good. Finish them up. Less than 10. Three, two, one. Good. Rest. Ready, ready? On your belly. Two, Grab that PVC one. pole. Exercise one. Breathe. And we go. Head straight down, looking at the ground. All this movement comes through your shoulder blades, not through your low back, mid back. That's halfway. You leave it right here. I don't trust that he's going to be okay. Right. Maybe we'll fall asleep. Good. Almost there. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. You got it. Three, 
Good deal. Time, time. Good. Awesome work. Finishing with a couple core exercises. Grab a drink, catch your breath. I'll break that down. And so we'll go plank, hip dip. We'll go back into that plank position and we'll go with the glute walkout. So uh, plank, hip dip, elbows under shoulders. Planking position, elbows. Again, elbows under shoulders, head, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles straight in the line. Again, if you need to modify this to your knees, you can. It'll be a little harder to do this, this, this hip dip part, but uh, that's where we'll go. So plank it out, and then hips. You're gonna drop one hip over to the side, reach it towards the ground. You may not reach it, you may get to the ground, you may not, but that's the direction it's going. Keeping this core strong, don't let this low back sag, just leave it. Just leave it. I'll check in a minute. Good, hip dip, up and over, and dip. Okay, so that's your plank hip dip. Then your glute hamstring walkout. And be here, feet are hip width apart, toes are straight. You're gonna fire your glutes, drive up into a hip, uh, a glute bridge position. Do not push with your lower back, okay? So you're not arching your back, you're just firing the glutes and driving your hips from here. Heels on the ground, arms are up to the side, they can support a little bit. You're gonna slowly walk your heels out as far as you can, keeping your hips and your butt off the ground if possible, okay? Then slowly walk them back in, reset the hips, fire them up, come back, and then walk back out, okay? So, there you have it. That's your glute walkout and your plank hip dip. Let's, let's do it. So, all right, you ready? You got seven, six. Starting with that plank hip dip. Elbows under shoulders, core strong. Toes or knees, plank it out. Drop the hips, back up. Drop the hips, back up. Shoulders still stable. You stay under your elbows still underneath your shoulders. Okay, hands should be shoulder width apart. Super common for planking. For people to draw their hands together, internally rotate their shoulders, and just leads to less quality posture. So keep the sh hands shoulder width apart. Keep those hands relaxed. Keep the shoulders stable, That's core awesome. strong, hips dipping side to side. If this dip dip is too much, we don't have to move. Just hold that plank as long as you can. So some modifications here as the time keeps ticking and you can pause and just hold. If you need to take a break because 60 seconds is too long, pop back up after your break and get, keep going while that time is still running, okay? So you can come in and out of this as your fitness and your strength allows. Time, we're gonna flip over, glute ham walkout. So on your back, heels on the ground, fire the glutes, draw the hips, heels walk out. Bit by bit, nice and long, walk back in. Reset the hips, fire the glutes, drive them. Walk back out. Okay, walk them back in. Fire the glutes, drive them. Walk back out, core strong. Get out there, walk them back in. Good, drive, and back out. Nice work, hamstrings are working, glutes are working. Fire them, drive them, walk back out. Good. Little by little. Just baby steps, inch by inch. Pause for a split second when you get out there. Reset the hips when you get back in. Almost there. We're well over the half. Less than 10. Good, 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 good. Two, one. Yes. Boom. Good. Shake it out, relax. Nice and down. Flip back over, 10 seconds. Plank, hip dip, core strong. Ready, ready, ready. Elbows under shoulders, toes up, pop it up, pop that core up, and drop these hips side to side. Good, breathe. 
Good posture in the shoulders, good strong core, no back sagging. Nice, 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 nice. You got this. Good. Yep, head stays straight. Core stays strong. Almost there. You got 15 seconds. Get what you can out of it. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Clip it. Glutes. Glutes are the king of your core. I've mentioned this many times. Firing the glutes, driving your hips. Walk those heels out. If the glutes aren't awake, if they're not doing their job, the rest of your core isn't awake and doing its thing. Heels walking out, sitting along, walking back in, hips drive, good, good, good. Yes, nice job. Good, hammies and glutes. Walk them out, walk them in, reset, continue. Nice work, nice work. Uh, almost there. Seconds left. Come on back. Three, two, one. Yes, nice work. Right. Two down, two to go. Moving right along, folks. I like it. No, that was three. Is that three? Am I off? I think whatever. Either way. Three. I think I missed a round. But I don't know. So here we go. This is the last one on each according to my time. Good, good, good. Dip them up, dip them over. Four strong, no back sag, no butts in the air. Keep that head looking straight in between the hands. Hands are shoulder width apart. Knees or toes, wherever your core strength allows. Good, good, good. You're over that half. Come on, 20 seconds left. Good, breathe, breathe. Keep going. Keep strong. How about it? Less than 15. Good, nice work. And your hips. Set, set, ready, ready, we're on. Glutes fire, hips drive, tight, tight. Heels walk out, keeping those glutes tight as your hamstrings walk you out. Walk you back in. Reset the glutes and hips. Walk them back out. Good, stick it, walk back in. Keeping these hips up the whole time without pushing through your lower back. Awesome work. Yeah, good, good. You That's got it, you got it. Yep, yep, yep. Awesome work, folks. You got this. Almost there. Come on, hammies and glutes, finish them up. Seconds left, last little bit. Woo! There you go. Nice work. Let's see. Good. I'm gonna throw in a quick little finisher, a little cardio, a little core. So 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, a very common time and tempo that I use. Your Tabata protocol. It's gonna be a skater hop side to side. And then it's going to be a core jackknife on the ground. So, pick a leg, stick it, balance, explode, jump it off to the other side, stick it, balance, side to side. And I'm not looking for super, super wide. I just want to see a quick, low turnover. So, low body position, 
quick turner was turn over from side to side and keep that pace up. Quick 20 seconds and then you'll be on the ground for a jackknife. One arm, one leg coming up, opposite arm, reaching for that toe, come back down, I'll do that. Okay, so that's your jackknife. Nice big crunch and sit there. So let me pull up the right timer. And then we'll get through this quick, send you back on your way. Here we go. Ready, ready. Here we go. Let's just sit right there. And three, two, one, skater hops, go. Squats. Side to side. Throw your arms across. That free leg that's on the inside, keep it off the ground. Load it and then drive it. Use it. Throw it across to the other side that you're jumping to. Same thing with the arms. Use those arms for momentum to throw across. Okay, down. Jackknife. Ten seconds off. Three. Ready, ready, ready. Nice and long. Crunching. Jackknife up into that toe. Good, good. Trying to keep those legs as straight as you can. Trying to crunch up as high as you can. Three, two, one, rest. Good, there you go. Back on our feet, same 10 seconds. Side to side, Three, quick and explosive, two, ready? One. Two, one, Swap. go. Good, 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 good. You're landing, stabilizing. Loading up that leg and jumping across. Good, 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 good. There you go. Rest. Back down, jackknife. Three, two, Ready? One. Go. Boom, back on. Three, two, one. Good. Yes. Nice, nice. Back up. Back to the heart rate. Get it back cranking. Halfway through this. Ready, ready? Go. Nice, nice. Here we go. Almost there. Quick skates. Quick skates. Keep coming. Good. Nice. Back down. Long and jackknife and crunching up. Good job. Good job. Keep coming strong, you got this. Three, two, one. Yeah, there you go. Rest. One more of each, and we'll get a quick cool down. Send you on your way. Skater, skater, ready, ready? Three, two, one. one. Finish them up here. Here we go. Jump across, land, stick, decelerate that motion, and then explode back out of it across to the other side. Nice job, nice job, nice job. One. Good. Back down for Jack Nice. 20 seconds. And then we cool down. Three. Two. One. Ready, ready. Push We're on. Ooh. Nice job. Come on, finish this core up. Big reaches. Crunch up a little higher. Keep that leg a little straighter. You got it. Stay focused. Almost Three, there. Two, one. Yes, there you go. Breathe your cool down. Three, two, Starts now. One. Take a couple deep breaths. Put one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. You should notice your belly rising and falling. 
more than your chest as you start to come into this. If your belly is rising and falling, that's a good place. That's where you want to be breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. That initiates your parasympathetic nervous system. That tells your body to start resting and relaxing and recovering. While our breathing stays in our chest, then uh, we stay stressed out. We don't recover well. And so lots of other health things come along. So uh, let's flip over. Let's start with a cobra push-up on your belly. Pushing up. Your hips on the ground. Pain free range of motion out of your lower back. Floss those hips around. Good. Come down. Press back up. Floss them out a little bit. Down. And back up. Good. Let's get one more. Good, toes together, heels are out, sit back, reach long. Again, a good place here to breathe. You can feel your belly pushing into your legs. You know you're in the right place. Reach long, let those hips sit back. Good. Let's go into, uh, let's do a pigeon. So plank it out, bring one leg forward underneath you, and then let your body weight and hips drop into that stretch with your leg up high. Okay. So my leg is in front of me up in front. And then my hips drop into this. They may not get to the ground depending on your mobility out of your hips, but regardless, you've got a good stretch going on. One of my favorites, I run a lot, this is one of my favorite stretches to keep my hips moving and mobile and my running to stay healthy. Good, let's sweep that other leg up. Good, good, good. This is my tight side. I floss that around a little bit. I shift side to side, move it around a little bit. Nice, okay. Um, let's go onto your side. We'll get a little bit of that upper body moving and then that'll be a wrap. Hands together, thumbs together, hips stacked, shoulders stacked, top leg is in front and hands together. We peel them apart. We open up, I call this an open book. So we're opening up those arms. Keep the hips stacked. Don't let the hips follow that arm or follow that shoulder. That's where we're gonna get this rotation in our trunk. Breathe, sink into that. Let's close it up. Reach a little bit and then pull it back open. A couple good breaths. Relaxing. Yeah. One more and then we'll switch sides. Feel that chest and that shoulder opening up a little bit. Rotation through your core. Good, let's switch sides. And open them up. And close it up. Good. One more. Yes, good, good. Awesome work. Well done. Thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in. Um, get some good food in you. Get a good recovery. Uh, it's recovery starts right now. And uh, we'll be back here next week, same time, same place, for some more total body. Mostly, if not all, well, all body weight action. And we'll have some more fun, get you stronger, get you better. Thank you for coming.